have somebody sent me a copy of the Jimmy Swaggart Expositor's Bible. It's a King James Version Bible, and uh, I, I'd heard him advertising it, and uh, I thought, well, I'd be interested in see what he believes about the King James. So they send for your for your free love gift of seventy five ninety nine, you can receive this Bible for free. So they'll send it to you, okay? And I was stunned at what I saw up on the screen. These are images from the Swaggart Bible. There at the top, I, I don't know, I can't remember exactly where what verse this is. I think it's Romans seven. For that which I do, I allow not. That's what Paul said in Romans 7, verse 15. And then right after that, in parentheses, inside the verse, it says, should have been translated, I understand not. These are not the words of an unsaved man, as some claim, but rather a believer. And it is full of that. It Right in the verse. See, they don't put it down, they don't even put it down on the bottom. They put it right in the middle of the verse. Where it says, I allow not, they say, correction, should have been translated, I understand not. Uh, here at the bottom, and Abraham called the name of the place Jehovah Jireh, meaning the Lord will provide, that, as it is said to this day, in the mount of the Lord it shall be seen. And then it says, should have been, should read, or should have been translated, in this mount Jehovah shall be seen. They're correcting the word of God, they're telling you, in all these places. And I kid you not, the swaggered Bible is full of this. Practically every page in the Swaggart Bible, there are verses where Jimmy Swaggart, Donnie Swaggart, or whoever interjected their own personal, private interpretation of what the Hebrew Greek should have said. Here's another one. And Jacob vowed a vow. If God be with me, should read, since God be with me. In other words, it's wrong to say, if God be with me. That's not what it really says. What it really says is this. Uh, here's another one. And they who were with me saw indeed the light and were afraid, but they heard not the voice of him who spoke to me. Should have been translated. They did not hear what the voice said. They only heard the sound. That's not what it says. And there, see, that right there, my friends, is canker. Their words doth eat as a canker. Okay? Now, there is, and I don't, I don't have this. I was going to do it this morning and didn't have time dealing with the sound and everything like that. In uh, 2 Thessalonians 2, I have showed this on uh, Pastor Mike online. I have that Swaggart Bible upstairs. And in 2 Thessalonians 2, I was reading 2 Thessalonians 2 several years ago. And as I read it, and believed what it said, I came to the conclusion that I believe that there will be events that happen before our translation. Because it says, verse 3, Let the man deceive you by any means. For that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. The swaggerts didn't like that. They did not like how that verse was translated. It disagreed with their eschatology, their idea of the future. So what they did was they retranslated it to make it say what they wanted it to say. So if I had it, I'd read it to you, but here's what they say. Should have been translated, the, the Greek word apostasia uh, could mean kept out or kept back or put out or caught out. So it should have been translated that that day should not come except the catching away be first and then the man of sin be revealed. In other words, they changed it to say that the word apostasia here means the rapture and we're going to be caught up first and then the man of sin is going to be revealed. They didn't like what the Bible said so they retranslated it and they stuck it right in the middle of the verse. That is cancer. That is, yea, hath God said. It introduces a question mark in the mind of the believer that their Bible is not correct. Okay? Deadly 
poison. Turn the